Hey, what's up, guys? World Expo back here, and today, you know it, I know it. Back on Q Block. I fucking love this deck. I did try to make Deck of Chaos work because I thought this was a deck it would fit into. Turns out you just draw all your minions too fast, and then it does nothing. So I learned that the hard way. Uh, I played it with it in my deck for three games, and or two games even, and I was just like, no, this card is bad in the deck. Thought it was a deck it would fit into, but I guess not. Anyways, uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I know our win rate looks like fucking garbage, but, 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 we hit rank three. Kind of big, not gonna lie, kind of big. Um, yeah, besides that, I'm gonna just show you guys some games from after I removed Deck of Chaos, because I did not actually get to play the games I played with it in the deck. So I'm basically gonna start the, the clips, I'm gonna take like the first, like, three games or so after it, and then I'll upload those. That's this video. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know why I talked you through my thought process there, but I did. Uh, anyways, I hope y'all enjoy. I hope you guys will all enjoy this video. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to stream tomorrow. Or I guess today when this comes out, later tonight, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I like twelve to one ish. Nah, you know, in the like twelve, like midnight tonight after this video is uploaded. You know, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope y'all enjoy the video. If you guys do, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're up the gang, and I'll see you guys in the next video, where it's also going to probably be stream highlights if I stream tomorrow, or else it's going to be live. If I don't stream tomorrow, I'm going to try to stream on Tuesday. Because I have an exam on Tuesday, so I can stream afterwards. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, or stream. Alright, guys. Alright. Hoodie off. And we ready to play, boys. Uh, keep the skull. Always keep skull. Oh, this is gonna be such a... F oh, okay. At least we have Malganus. Malganus is gonna be super solid. Especially with the Sense Demon Curve. Alright. Okay. What's up, Iwi? I hope you're doing good. Oh my god, this hand is actually garbage. At least we have a 50-50 chance at hitting Void Caller, right? Which is kind of big. This Void Caller, like, wins the ma Uh, that's... Uh, whoops. <laughs> Why can't I... Oh my... We missed. We fucking missed. We hit the 25% chance at whiffing. Feels so bad. This card is insane against both priests, so yeah, that's good. Because if he kills it, uh, Highlander can't do anything anymore, and then if it dies, if he kills it again, his summon minion from his deck can res a 1-1, one -one. can summon a 1-1, one -one at the same odds of either Blood or Scrapyard, if he hasn't drawn either. So it's like actually super big. Okay, so we just turn off Highlander for the rest of to the game hopefully and that should let us win we got a punch here for free what do i think of odd warrior um so as far as i know right now odd warrior is i haven't seen one in forever but i feel like it would be like meh Actually, I think it's one of those few decks that actually does counter um, Reno Priest. Uh, just because you'll have so much health that it'll be hard for them to kill you. Um, yeah, he has to dig right now for the 1-1s. One like, dig super hard. And I mean, if he, if he hits one, he hits one, right? The odds are fairly low, but they're still there. Uh, that's one of the good ones to summon. This is a dead card now, for all intents and purposes. Uh, cube is huge. Cube is actually huge. But yeah, Odd Warrior, I feel like it could be good. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I don't know if you play that or if you play Dead Man's. Is the bigger thing. Um, I guess they are very different decks. In Odd Warrior, like, the other thing is you can't really play any of the new gods, which kind of sucks. But I feel like Warrior is really good with um, Yashir the new Yasharash. Especially if you're going a control route. And it just sucks you can't play it. 
Um. This is good for us. The fact that, I mean, we're going to kill that this turn, obviously. But the fact, okay. So you played the Kasaka's potion. Freeze. You have, okay. I was about to say, you have like four possible targets. Please don't hit the one that I want you, don't want you to hit. It doesn't actually matter. E turtle. It's coming up on six. I, I guess I just yell over here. I want that in my Deadpool. So even if he does Psychic Scream this board, he Psychic Screams it. It's kind of whatever. If he Psychic Screams, he's not digging for an answer. All right. Which is insanely good for us. We got in five damage while we could. We got a free tap. I think he's actually trying to get more things into the Psychic Scream, which is kind of scary. All things considered. But... I mean, that's why we have this, right? My guess is he's going to go for Holy Smite or Penance on this, and then Psychic Scream. Uh, let's make it so he can't do that. Okay, I don't have anything at 2. Not having anything at 2 here kind of sucks, but sorry, I would have loved to kill this off. Uh, with Defile. I would have 100% done that. If... Um... I mean, people say that the Pain Warlock deck or the Dark Lord Warlock deck is like top tier, but I, I don't see it. I feel like the deck kind of falls off against the control decks. So yeah, but I think overall, besides the fact that Priest, Priest does seem a little overpowered right now, uh, having both played Reno Priest and uh, Big Priest, it does feel a little bit overpowered. But I don't think it's like nerfable overpowered. Again, the only way I could see nerfing Reno Priest is changing. Uh, Anduin how he works to either reset on either spells or minions played but not on both um, Big Priest I just think the deck is like meh at best like it's good if you high roll if you low roll the deck is fucking awful um, if he doesn't do anything here the play is faceless on the 4-3 defile because it puts so many so fucking many guys into his thing I mean I give him two cards and I burn two Three. If you if you can't play anything else here, I burn three cards. If even if he plays one thing, I burn. Alright, I'm gonna burn three here. I'm gonna go face with everything in the file. That's fine. Uh, I go with face with everything besides that. Play this here, and I make him concede. Really, I, I mean, I whiffed on everything that's, like, super big, but I hit some of the good things. Um, yeah, Dark Lord Warlock does seem... It seems okay. I wouldn't say... Oh, he's dead, lol. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best deck, but it, it's, it's a fairly solid deck. Mm, yeah. I, I'd even argue that Odd Pally is a better aggro deck. And I think Odd Pally is actually just super underrated right now. Uh, so, yeah, let's just jump right into the next one. Um... But getting back to Odd Warrior, I think the deck could be solid in the meta. If, if you had, like, a really solid list where, um, I mean, obviously your main win con is probably the Silas combo, because it's still possibly your best win con. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would, I would try it out, I guess. I, I'd be, I'd be, yeah, I'd be down to try it out, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, I, I like Odd Warrior. I still don't know if it's better than Deadman's, though. I feel like Deadman's Hand is, like, just an insanely powerful deck. So we're playing the two-deck meta. I just like it. No, we queued into a Warlock. What? If I had to make a tier list, I think it would probably be Raza Priest top tier with Odd Paladin Quest Mage. I, I, even after all the nerfs, I feel like Quest Mage is still super, super broken. It's just an unfair mechanic um and it's just faster than all the other combo decks like it's faster than Malagos druid it's faster than um line breaker druid it's faster than uh freeze mage and all those things so I i'd say it's still most likely top tier it still finishes on turn like six seven games um yeah so odd pally quest mage reno priest and possibly dark glare or else dark glare is at like the top top of tier two 
And then tier two would most likely be Arena Lock, Secret Mage, Dark Glare. I don't even know if I put Big Priest in tier two. If well, he'd be at the bottom of tier two, I think Big Priest would be at the bottom of tier two. I don't think that deck is that great. Uh, what else is like really popular? I'd put Dead Man's Hand tier two because I think that deck is also insanely good. Like I think it beats Reno Priest. It's just really hard to play. Oh, Kingsbane, I think would still be tier two. Like I still think that deck is really solid. Uh, same thing with Odd Warrior or Odd Pal or. Odd Rogue, Odd Demon Hunter, also at the top of Tier 2. Uh, yeah. And then Tier 3, I'd probably put... I don't know if Cube would be at the bottom of Tier 2. Or bottom of Tier... Th or top of Tier 3. It's the same thing with Big Priest. I don't know which one I'd put above the other. I think they're both meh. Also, I'd put Highlander Mage at the bottom of Tier 2, I think. I think that that could still be, like, really, really good. There's so many decks that I think are really, really good, but no one plays them because they're not a mongoloid aggro deck, and people don't like playing the decks that take time to win. I don't see why not. They're, they're like, so much more fun, in my opinion. Sitting down and actually thinking what you're playing instead of just, like, running minions at face. I don't understand it. Like, I kind of want to try Highlander, Priest again, or Highlander Mage again, like, with C'Thun and Yashiraj. It's not good. Please don't land on a demon. <sighs> I'm sad. I he should have actually arguably killed it and then polymorphed whatever it summoned. That's arguably the right choice every time. Normally, if you can avoid it, you'd never want to polymorph this thing to get something. Like, right? You never want to counter a tutor. You always want to counter the card he gets off the tutor. So this way he has to commit more mana to it. Or, in this case, if you polymorphed what I got off the, um, what's his face? Off the Void Color, right? Say if I got Malganus, I no longer have a Malganus for the entire game. But, right, if you polymorph that, you'll still have to deal with the Malganus eventually. I am slowly dying, though. Oh, he drew one of the Cthune parts. Interesting. Uh, oh, is that the, like, the Rush deck? I personally haven't seen it, so I have, like, no comment on that. But I can see how it's good. He top-decked the fucking bird. He top-decked an Albatross. That's just straight-up unlucky. Like, that's something that only happens to me, I fucking swear. Yeah, fuck you. But, I, I mean, I think that deck could be solid. Alright, let's see if he top sucks two more. I just want to turn off Zephyrus, basically. This is most likely a mass poly. I think he goes for a 10 cost every single time here. All the other ones are not really worth it, in my opinion. Although, again, we most likely just died to Cthune. Like, there's high odds that we're just dead to Cthune when he plays that. Oh, uh, yeah, I have to tap here. Alright. So I'm going to drop Void Lord here. Hopefully force a poly, and this way I can get a free Melganus. And if not, I mean, I cube the Melganus if that doesn't force it. And then I plague. I thought the only secret to this deck would have been the Cthune one. That would be a sick-ass combo, in my opinion. If you played a deck that just auto cast all the Cthune cards for you, that'd be super fucking cool, in my opinion. Now I kind of want to... I guess Melganus is actually probably the better... Did he draw... He drew two... He drew three Albatross's top decks. He drew all three of them. He had three possible draws at them, and he hit them. He... He had three possible draws, and he hit them. What the fuck? What? 
What in the actual fuck? That is so unlucky. Oh my god. <laughs> Anybody who just joined into the stream just saw me say what the fuck for like the last 30 seconds. Let me guess. Uh... That's fine. I can answer that with a hit. We know that he has... Oh my god. Don't kill my guy. Every time. Every time. Every fucking time. Oh, that's actually a really cool combo. There's nothing here triggers when I attack this, right? A splitting image, I guess. I doubt he's playing splitting split, yeah. I would have doubted he was playing splitting image. But, man, those are some insane top decks from him. Three albatrosses in a row. What were the fucking odds of that? <laughs> That's so unlucky. I put four in his deck, and it won't be enough to beat a Highlander deck. Thought the code countered Highlander. Wind Fury, Divine Sh er, Wind Fury Rush? Or Divine Shield Rush? You should die. Play another minion? Really? That's what you went for? Oh, I'm almost dead, huh? I did not realize I was this close to dead. Uh. This summons Void Lord, two Enhanced Dreadlords, some amount of Mistresses. Okay, no Void Lord. That's actually the best case, was no Void Lord in there. Because we want both of these. Fucking course he hit Mass Poly. Fucking course. That's so fucking retarded. I'm so sad. I'm so f this game has been actually retarded. Like, he has had perfect RNG this entire fucking game. He's gonna have another polymorph. He's gonna top deck one. Look at this card right here. This 13 or this card he RNG'd as a poly. To hit the Malganus with. No, that's getting top deck into the scuv or a poly out of all the possible cards. Right? Or is it just the board wipe? It's either a board wipe or a poly. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm about to die here. There's no way he doesn't have removal for this and then burn from my face. Zero way. So Vectus was kind of useless this game, huh? So he's a 10 mana guy. I can't believe I have to just throw away cards here. Feels so fucking bad. Uh, I need to draw, like, mistress or merchant. Merchant would be would have been so big there. I'm dead to pyroblast if he aren't you one of those. Cast the Tree of Life, please, one fucking time. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. That was possibly the most unlucky thing I have ever fucking seen. Heal my face. I'm dead here, right? Unlucky.
I'm so unlucky how things fucking rolled out. I'm sad. We should not have lost this game, in my opinion. We just got really, really unlucky. Again, both expired merchants being the bottom seven cards of our deck has happened two games now. And that top decking of fucking albatrosses was actually out of this fucking world. Out of this world lucky. I hate my life sometimes. Fucking hate my life. Uh... Is it a hard deck to pilot? No, I'm interested. <laughs> I, I mean, I'd, I'd, if people want to see ETC Warrior, I can, I can try to play it. If it's hard, I mean, once I hit Legend. I mean, hopefully I'll hit Legend with this deck. I think I'm able to. I'd say I'm able to. So I'm fairly good with this deck. It takes some time to get used to after not playing it for a while, but... The last two games, I think I just got really, really unlucky. Uh, I mean, this side is a fair... This is a sh fair hand, I guess. Vectus on Mistress feels really good against aggro. Real weak against big shaman, but really good against aggro shaman. I mean, I could also hit this, right? Or if I have two one one ones at that and someone a five five. Okay. If I mean, if people want to see it, I I would try it out. I'd be one hundred percent down to try something like that out. Those are normally the type of decks I really, really enjoy playing. That is the biggest fucking three cost in the game. What the fuck? What in the actual fuck? And people say I don't get unlucky and I just complain. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what in the actual fuck is this? I'm so sad. I should have won this game. And I'm getting fucking cocked by a 5-4 dragon. Who gets this? Who gets that off their 3 mana burn spell? I don't. Oh, he's Highlander. That's good to know. If he wasn't Highlander, he hit the, the Void Caller every single fucking time there. Or he just has double hex, but I still think he most likely hits, he's Highlander, and he's just trying to protect that. Well. I need to play around hex for the rest of the fucking game. I'm gonna play around hex by Enhanced Dreadlord to Sorry, what the fuck is this bullshit? What the fuck is this? I have to do this here. Yeah, so I'm just assuming at this point it is that. Uh, it sucks. I'm gonna lose a uh, Melganis. That's fine. I lose the Melganis here, which really sucks. And he has another hex after that too. Yeah, that just gets hexed. Yeah, it's it's for sure Shutter Walk. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that this is Shutter. Let's force the hex on this, even though he won't be able to hex this yet, so. It's an unplayable card. I like it. Uh, yeah, the, he won't be able to play the hex here, which is good for me. He's gonna play the torrent here, most likely. Oh, no. If he does that, he can't play torrent.
Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I okay. I last time I played Shutterwalk, like the Highlander version of Shutterwalk, I genuinely felt as if the card Zephyrus was bad in that deck. Is that weird? It's of course what you hit off Farsight. This is why in my other list I was running one copy of. Oh, Zephyrus is. He just turned that off for the rest of the fucking game. That's fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, that means. It's 11. Uh. This is my best odds at winning the game. Fuck. My best odds at winning the game there was to hit another bird to shuffle his deck, but now I think I lose. Which really fucking sucks. Really, really fucking sucks. I, I think Reno Shaman is just bad because the deck does a shitload of nothing, in my opinion. Um, if you miss on the combo, the deck just fizzles and doesn't do anything. If you do hit on the combo, the deck does a lot, but that requires so much setup. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate because I knew, I know he drew, uh... Oh, I mean, he still has to draw Shutterwalk and Reno. So he drew Shutterwalk here, which means this can theoretically hit Bird. I missed on bird, so I lose the game now, which really fucking sucks, but, yeah. It's funny how that one bit of RNG just lost me the game. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have enough of anything left to win this game. Oh, I guess I lose hard to that deck. I didn't think was true, but to be fair, he had Hex in his opener. And I whiffed on every single attempt at Bird. He had Hex for Bird on turn four. Oh my god, can I not hit fucking... I just want to hit Gul'dan. Gul'dan here would have been the fucking perfect card to hit. I'm so sad I missed on Gul'dan there. I tapped fucking five times. Hard cucked. Hard cucked. Yeah, it's it's not great. It's not optimal. That's for damn sure. Of course, you hit the albatross. Oh, he hit both albatrosses. I guess that's kind of good. But to be fair, there's no more minions he really has to draw. Bottom four cards is Gul'dan. I like that. I like that a lot. That's eight, nine, ten. I'd have to tap. Oh, I could tap once, I guess. It doesn't change much. I'm gonna lose anyways. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the no Malganus is the part that makes me lose. If I would have had Malganus, the big thing was uh, his combo doesn't kill Malganus. So if I was just sitting there with a Malganus besides a wall of taunts, he couldn't actually kill me. Yeah, I mean, he would be at full health, but I would have Malganus, and there's no real way for him to kill it. Especially not if you, like, cube Malganus and whatnot. There's no way for him to actually deal with that. It sucks so that I just die here. Okay, I guess I don't theoretically instantly die, but there's very, very high odds that I do.
There's very, very high odds that I just die here. Of course, I miss on both the mains I want to hit. Um, but yeah, the reason I don't necessarily just instantly die here... Um, because Gul'dan, or... Melganus can still fizzle. Or, sorry, Melganus. Shadow Walk can still fizzle. I guess that does kill Melganus, but... Uh, his, his thing can still fizzle. Which, I mean, is a thing still, right? <laughs> That's fine. I have no more demons in my deck. Uh, let's kill that off with these. And let's just get this down so we can start healing a little bit. He needs to hit the elemental that doubles his things and makes... Yeah. That's what he has to hit still. See, that's the thing. He has Shutter Walk in hand. But it doesn't matter. It's one of those weird things that it just really doesn't matter. Because... I saw that one coming a mile away. How much damage is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17... I mean, if I do this, I think this is the better play. Oh, I should trade in the 2 1. Thing with doing this is it forces him to Shutter Walk here, even if it's not going to be an optimal Shutter Walk. This just forces the Shutter Walk. And then I could kill Shutter Walk with Plague. And then win through Gul'dans. This this forces the shit, yeah. So if it does whiff. Of course it didn't whiff. If it would have whiffed, he lost the game. But, I mean. Yeah. To be, for, to be fair, he had to roll twice to make sure it didn't miss. Basically, the last card he had to have was... Yeah. The last card he had to cast was the Doppelgangster, not the second one. Well, that was still a fairly close game. He was definitely looking for something to double his battle cries. Against a deck like that, the, the main thing you want to do is force cards. That are unoptimal for him to play. And then optimal for you. Like, it's basically like the best case scenario. Well, that's a really good fucking hand. Mistress on one. Every game. <laughs> I don't even know if Mistress on one is good in this deck, necessarily. It fucks your Nazoth, which I don't really like. Oh, it's Secret Mage. We know that for a fact now. Hopefully this is going to be big. I feel like this could be big really easily. All right, Vectus on curve. All right, Void Caller. Void Caller dies, hopefully, when I play him to Explosive Ruins and not Polymorph. And then Vectus on four. Ah, oh, that was such a bad draw. Such a bad draw. If it would have been two turns later, it would have been a fine draw, but draw there is really fucking bad. Explosive Ruins hopefully kills my Void Caller. Explosive Ruin kills my Void Caller. I get hopefully a 5-7. Explosive Ruins? Yeah, beautiful. I got a 5-7 here. Thank you. And then next turn, I get play Vectus. Especially if I draw another demon, even if this doesn't die, I drop Vectus on curve. I get two more Void Callers. One summon a Void Lord and one summoning hopefully a Dread Lord. Or actually, hopefully a Longanus. And then he can't kill me because he can't break through that Wall of Taunt.
I mean, I could just go face. No, I actually can't even vec- uh, can I vec this here? I was thinking of doing this. Oh, I'm missing one mana for that play. Fuck it, let's just go for the Vec display. That's fine. Void Caller. Oh, Mistress. I forgot that I had another Death Rattle, so that's perfect then. Uh, winning that 50 50 was like super, super big. Well, 50 50. It was a, I guess it was a 25% chance that it was Mistress, Mistress. It's like super big that this one's actually a Void Caller. And the other one's a mistress. Like, that was, like, optimal scenario. The 50-50 odds was the best case scenario, funnily, funny enough. Yeah, that's good. He can't play another secret here. Which means I can theoretically punch with Void Lord into his guy. I even need a punch now. I can go face for 12... Uh, do I? I think I run Vectus into the four four actually. I just do this. Check the explosive runs. Big brain. Blunts for blood. And oh, it's a counter spell. Oh shit! I didn't expect it to be counter spell. That's fine. I said now I wish I kind of killed a thing that deals two damage, but. At the same time, he doesn't want to play secrets now. Because if you're putting my cube into the range of dead, I think you just lose the game. If he plays another secret, I think he just loses. So he can't kill off both of his guys. Yeah, that's a good trade there for you, bud. Uh, even if he goes secret here, it's not even great for him. No, that's fine. I can hit here and go face, though. Uh, how much health is on board? 1, 2, 3, 8, 9. A lot. Uh, 1, 2, 3, f 9, 10, 11, 12. Not such a bad card. Uh, that should be fine. The weird thing is, I don't want this to trigger in case it's draw 3. Right? Ah, I should have played the Void Caller then. He had no good trades into the Void Caller. Void Caller, you just saved me 5 health. I guess now I get the Void Caller for free. I'm hoping to drop the file. The file here would actually be fucking ginormous, I think. No, not really. I can't. I guess I could set up a 2 by hitting there. Do I risk it for the biscuit? Oh, no. This is actually all fucking awful, huh? I have no real way of killing that. Let's do this first, I guess. I think this is the best trade. Even if he draws three here, I think this is fine. Oh, he doesn't even draw three. Perfect. This is the fact that I have two five fives now to heal me. I think he says he concedes. And if not, I'm dropping this off on curve. Do the birds from Vectus start with Death Rattle, or do they gain the Death Rattle? They gain, which means I don't think you res them off Nizoth, which is super big. He's going face, which I don't understand. He wants to kill these. Yeah, oh my god, that was such a big fucking draw. Such a big draw. 